Welcome to another training video from ifdaboss.com. Today we're going to be showing you how to extract the miles and or the fuel files off of a Rand McDowell GPS and to upload them into ifdaboss. First, connect your Rand McDowell GPS device to your computer using the supplied cable that came with it. Install the Rand McDowell Dock software, if you haven't already, from randmcnally.com. Turn on your GPS once the wire is connected. If it doesn't turn on on its own when you plug in the wire, you will see it connected with the serial number and you will see the main menu. Go to the next page and you'll click the button that says Mileage and Fuel. To extract the mileage file, click Mileage. Choose a folder on your hard drive so that you know where it's going. And name the mileage file Miles. You must choose a file type CSV as an option. You don't want to choose the Excel file version because it will not upload properly. Saving your file as Miles CSV, I'm overwriting my old one, you will see it saved successfully. Do the same thing with the fuel log, naming it Fuel. Choose file type CSV fuel.csv and save it. I'm overwriting again my old one. You're now done with the Ram McNally dock portion. Returning to iftaboss.com, log in and go to your IFTA switchboard page. There you will see a button that says Upload. Upon clicking Upload, it will walk you through the steps to upload your new file. Number one, choose the format. In this case, we're going to choose Rand McNally, of course. Choose the year that you are going to be doing. In this case, 2016. And choose the quarter. I'm going to do Q1. Select your truck number that these files came from. I'm going to say it's my truck called US1. Furthermore, you can name this upload whatever you like. In this case, I'm going to call it Miles from truck US1, Q1, 2016. You don't have to give it a name, but I do this because you'll find out later that it's much easier to look at your return and see what files were uploaded from which truck. Now, select the files by clicking Select, and in this case, it's our Miles file. Open it, and when you click Upload, you will see Upload Completed Successfully. Furthermore, we're going to upload our fuel file, again for truck one, and we're going to call it, in this case, Fuel US1 2016 Q1. Select Files, this time it's the fuel file. Click Open. Upload, and once again you'll see Upload completed successfully. All previous uploads that you've done will show up down here in the chart below, and here are the two we just did. Now, once we have uploaded those, if you return to your Summary tab, you will now see that we have started a new return for 2016 Q1, right here. This is the one that was created when we just uploaded our Ram McNally fuel and our miles files. To view that return, click on Continue or Finish This Quarter. It will then take you to the calculator portion for Q1 of 2016, in my case, or to the quarter that you're doing, showing your total current tax. If you want to edit one of these uploads that just occurred, you can see them all coming off my Ram McNally device. You can see the file name that we called it. There's the miles. We go to the next page. More miles. In addition, down below, you will see our fuel upload. This is what we called it when we uploaded just a minute ago. If you want to edit one of these entries, you can. If you want to remove an entry for whatever reason, you can do that as well. If you want to add another entry that didn't come off of your Ram McNally, you can do that as well. By manually entering miles, 
you can either create a new trip number or you will see the two trips that we just created when we uploaded. So let's say I'm going to add it to my current miles without creating a new trip. We'll choose Idaho, 200 more mile, 2,000 more miles, and we'll click Save. So now you'll see that manual entry right there, 2,000 miles in Idaho, and our total tax is once again saved. Here's a pro tip for you. Back in the switchboard, you can also upload the miles and the fuel at the same time. Format, Ram McNally, 2016, first quarter, truck US1, and we'll say miles and fuel for truck US1, 2016. Q1. Again, you can name your trip whatever suits you. Only this time when I select files, I'm going to hold down the control key on my keyboard after clicking the first file. Control, click again. You'll see I've selected both files. Open. And you'll see they're both in the queue waiting to be uploaded. This time when I click upload, it's going to upload both files at once to save you some time. When we return to our summary and click to look at that quarter, we have an entirely different total tax owed because we've now uploaded two more files. And now we have four pages of miles and all of our fuel from both of those trips. Thank you for watching and thank you for using ifdaboss.com.